Hey church family, it is Passion Week and we are excited to deliver you some short videos each morning this week. We hope that you find this content relevant and we also hope that you'll share it with your friends and family on social media. You know, as a pastor, as we get closer and closer to Easter, there's so many stories in Passion Week that just capture my attention. And I just wish there was just more time. So I'm thankful for just a moment to, to share this story. He's maybe a little bit of an insignificant player in the crucifixion story, but I, I wanna I want to highlight him today for a few minutes. In Luke chapter 23, we're introduced to a man named Simon. Let's listen to what the scripture says. As the, so, as the soldiers led him away, led who away? Led Jesus out of his trial to Golgotha to be crucified. He's so weak because of his beatings, he's not able to carry his cross. It says they see Simon from Cyrene who was on his way in from the country and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. I want to just talk about Simon for a second. First of all, who, who was he? We, we don't know a lot of details. We know he's uh, most likely a, a God-fearing man who maybe has been uh, converted to Judaism. We know Cyrene was a, a city in modern-day Libya today on the northern coast of Africa. So he is coming to the city of Jerusalem for Passover weekend. And we would believe that he's there to offer a sacrifice. But as he's on this journey, his, his life, his story intersects with the ultimate sacrifice, with Jesus. And it really captures my attention because I, I think Simon's journey is, is a journey that we're all on. You see, we're, as we think about religion, most of the time religion to us is performance, it's legalism, it's behavior, all these things I need to do so I can be right uh, with God. And in many ways, that's what Simon was doing. He was traveling out of his own pocket, paying his expenses so he could come to Jerusalem for a pilgrimage. And it, it might've been the only time in his life he was able to do that so he could offer a sacrifice so that he might have the hope of forgiveness yet. His story is intersected with the Messiah. And so it would be Jesus who is going to pay Simon's debt to sacrifice for Simon. And so it's really a move from really the law to really the grace of Jesus Christ. And it's a journey that I think all of us are on. At some point, we're trying to perform so God can love us. And then we realize that God in Christ has performed perfectly for us. And that when we trust in him, then we have a whole new righteousness. But then the last thing I would say about Simon, he's, he's asked to carry the cross of Jesus. The soldiers take this cross and they place it on him. And I think this is another significant thing because I think for all of us as followers of Jesus, God has, God has something for us to do. God has a cross for us to carry. God has a work for us to do. And you know, many times it, it sort of comes out of nowhere. That's certainly what happened with Simon. He has no expectation of, of this taking place. He's just in with the crowd and all of a sudden a cross is thrust upon him and he willingly obeys and carries it. And on the other side of that, for all eternity, his story is going to kind of echo because he was just obedient to that. And so I think about that in my own life as we move into uh, post-Easter after just an understanding of the grace and mercy of Christ. What does God have for me to do? What does God have for you to do? What's a cross that he has for you to carry? Like Simon, what, what can that really look like? Well, it can be uh, maybe as simple as is just taking your family through just a weekly devotion, just stopping, turning the television off and, and being a spiritual leader in our homes. It could be starting a Bible study on your campus or in your workplace. It could be, it could be taking a short-term mission trip and going and sharing the gospel uh, really to a, a place that, that doesn't have the access that, that we have. You know, it could be just uh, taking a strategic serving opportunity in your, in your local church, all those things. You know, Jesus said this in Luke chapter 14, verse 27, who does not not take up their own cross and follow me really can't be my disciple. Really, in other words, what Jesus is saying is, is, we, don't, is we don't take up our cross and, and serve him so we can have a relationship with him. But when we truly have a relationship with him and understand who he is, then we want to willingly take up our cross and serve him. So I hope we don't miss this opportunity as we think about the story of Simon and we understand now as we intersect with the Messiah and with this ultimate sacrifice, and then let's be willing to take up the cross that God has for us so that we can be a part of a far greater story than we ever could imagine in our own life. God bless you guys.